congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations on the win. Uh, you know, seemed a little emotional after the win. We couldn't hear you in here. What, what were you saying? Um, well, I was surprised. That was the first time ever I got interviewed in the cage. That was pretty fun. <laughs> awesome. And just as for the fight itself, were you surprised by anything out there? I thought she would go for more takedowns. Um, she tried more in the, in the end of the uh, third round. But I felt that, I actually felt that she wanted to stand and bang, and that works for me, so. Yeah, played out well. And you know, you said you were oddly relaxed in this fight week, so how was today for you? Nerves all in check? Oh my god, I was so nervous. So when the fight was, you know, uh, done, I was, uh, I was so relieved, because I've been so nervous all day. <laughs> and you know, you talked about, talked about what's next after we had some things in mind. It seems like Raquel Bennington's still on, on the mind. Is it, is it her or anybody else? Well, we were scheduled to fight tonight, and uh, uh, I don't know why it didn't happen, but uh, um, she, I think she said she could go in August, and I'm, I will be cleared for a fight in August. Um, I'm not injured or anything, so I would love to fight in August if she wants to. Awesome. Any plans to celebrate? Um, well, we go to In-N-Out. That's, <laughs> that's usually what we do. and. Uh, I have to call my mom. She's probably like, bah, I know. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you for you. Uh, how are your legs feeling? You still a lot of leg kicks in there. Uh, yeah, my calf is hurting a bit. Uh, I, I was so ready for those. I was like, okay, she, she's going to go for uh, calf kicks. I blocked a few of them. But, you know, in the third round, I was like, I can handle a couple of uh, calf kicks. I'm just going to I'm just gonna take them. Were you expecting those from her, or did they catch No, you? I expected those calf kicks. She did really good in her last fight with those. And I think this is what, your fourth fourth win? Yeah. So the, 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 the top of the division, a lot of the ladies have already fought for the title. Maybe a man is looking for a new opponent, and of course she has to fight against Juliana Payne. So where do you think this win puts you in this division? Well, I feel that I'm ready to fight somebody, uh, like I said before, like Raquel, or uh, around that, you know, in, in that ranking, uh, I do see myself. Uh, I'm ranked 11. I do see myself as a top five fighter. Uh, I've grown a lot, and uh, I know that you know. Usually, you guys only see my boxing, but I, <laughs> I'm really well rounded, <laughs> but I never get to show that sometimes. So. so, would you prefer the slow climb up the rankings, or would you prefer them to try to throw you into like a top three, top five fight? Like, like say they don't come back with a kill. Like Holly Holm gets a lot matched up with a lot of. Yeah. Test them. Would you like one of those fights or would you like uh, slow rise? I mean, I like all the time I can get in the octagon. I mean, this is what I will look back at when I'm older and like I had so much time in the octagon. And I I would love to fight, of course. Uh, I will take the smartest fights I can. Hey. Okay. Congratulations. Hey. Um, so, you lost your first two UFC fights, but now you're on, on, on a four or five win streak. Um, what constituted the change and what's, what's, you know, to explain it? Well, the ultimate fighter uh, was my chance to get a UC contract. Um, it just wasn't my time. It wasn't my time. Uh, it wasn't my weight class. It was just not me. Uh, and, you know, my opponent was better than me that night. And, uh, I got sent home without a contract, and I got a. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I was pretty down for a while, but I fought again. I got a chance to fight in Bantamweight, and I took the fight on two weeks' notice, which I, I'm not regretting. Uh, I fought Julia Avila, and she was way better than me that night. She was better prepared. But I said, you know, to the matchmakers when I when I got there, you won't regret it. Just give me a contract in my own weight class, and. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. So. And you're winning. Yeah. Um, the Alden fighter is back right now. Um, are you happy that it's, it, it, it didn't go away? Yeah, I'm super happy. I love the Ultimate fighter, especially after being on it. I, I was really jealous when I saw the producers putting up pictures uh, when they're at the set and everything, because I really miss it. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Did you throw any kicks, and do you have a message for the women of our end? Sorry, what did you say? Did you throw any kicks? I didn't count any. Do you have a message for the women in our end? I can't say that. I 
cannot hear you. I'm so sorry. Did you throw any kicks? Did you throw any kicks? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. I don't think. I don't think I threw any kicks. Um, maybe it's like a stomp kick to the knee or something. But I just didn't feel feel it in this fight. I was just like <laughs> letting my hands go, and I don't know what I was thinking. And what was the second thing you said? Do you have a message for the women of Iran? Oh yeah, uh, I have a lot of Iranian fans, especially females, and uh, I mean, it's not impossible. <laughs> uh, we, you know, there's, I, I know there's a lot of fighters in Iran coming up that nobody knows of, uh, a lot of girls um, that really want to come over here and fight because they can't fight at home, and I don't know, maybe, Maybe I could be influenced or, or something for that because um, everybody deserves to do whatever they want. Thank you.